Well, 34 weeks, why it's eight weeks old. Uh, we've got them out of the incubator and into, I don't know, a normal looking crib. I don't know what you call it. A big boy bed. A big boy bed. That's what I call it. Um, what else is there? How, how much does he weigh? So last night he weighed three pounds, 12 and a half ounces. So he's growing and he um, is off of his Niv Nava. So that's the one that had the sensor that goes to his belly and tells him to breathe. And so he's just on normal nasal cannula, the high, the high flow. Um, and he's on four liters. And once he gets down to two liters, he will be able to start bottle feeding. So we're really excited about that. Well, there ain't much to say. Uh, we went out to eat at Beer Nose Pizza. It was delicious. I've been trying to eat halfway decent, and that was not decent, but it was delicious. I was starving. I hadn't eaten all day. I was in with Wyatt. I got so. some anchovies, some jalapeno peppers. Um, Let's just say his dinner looked not very appetizing. I guess no news is good news. We've been kind of boring this week, which is good. I've gotten my snuggle time in with Wyatt, so that's been nice. And I didn't do it today because I had work clothes on. I was afraid to get him sick or something. Well, I didn't think he smelled, and then when I smelled up top more you could smell the SPM in you know on him so anyways so I didn't think it was a good idea for him to hold Wyatt because Wyatt can't have that type of stuff I've been getting to do a lot more with him so I'm like starting to feel like I'm a mom like now that he's in that um, crib I can, even though he's connected to stuff, I can come in and pick him up on my own and hold him. And they're having me do a lot more. I feel pretty comfortable with things. So, you know, I'm helping with, um, you know, putting his, uh, it's his oxygen probe on his foot and I can help with baths and whatnot. So oh, yeah, I was going to tell a story. Uh, when, when was it last weekend? She was changing his diaper. Oh, yeah. A little bit of poop comes out. Yeah, yeah, good boy, whatever. And then all of a sudden... Well, no, the story was he filled the diaper. Yeah. And then as she's kind of wiping him... Well, the nurse, the nurse said, that's a lot. I think he's probably done. And then he... He, like, blew up. He, like, blew shit all over the back of the friggin'... <laughs> Glass. I think I've got video of her cleaning it, but I didn't get the actual firing. And then I got peed on for the first time. And then time. she set it, set it back down and, and cleaned he, him up again. And he peed on me. And I was just bragging that day that I hadn't gotten peed on yet. But what was the funny part it is... It was explosive. There was a reaction. So I have his feet and I'm looking. And then anytime something would happen... <laughs> I would drop his feet, so he just kept, like, <laughs> falling in the poop. So it was, the nurse was laughing at us. But you wouldn't think that much would come out of him. It was like a water hose after, you know, you haven't used it in a while, and you turn it on, and you get, like, air pockets in it. Except his, well, his was, was shooting further than water. What was funny was his oxygen saturation was dropping, because it drops when they get upset, and he wasn't feeling good and then after that he was like his oxygen saturation was through the roof because he was so happy to get that off of his belly and then today i got a huge diaper full like squeezing out the side so i think we've got him pooping good again we got good flow we've good got flow. good bowel movements so yeah but he's we enjoy him, and he's smiling and yep. having more, f a little bit more interactive. And he had his eye exam. He gets an eye exam every week, and it's staying stable, so that's good. 
and we kind of talked about um, pediatricians today and what to try to f look for in a pediatrician for him and um, but they'll prepare us here before we leave um, on everything we need to do to care for him so basically like all the classes you can take in child care they'll like make sure that we know all of that so we don't have to take classes and when we get them home we probably won't have anybody over because they said what normally happens the babies go home people come over to see the baby they get sick and they come right back to the NICU yeah within a week or two so so I'd rather not be making these trips down here anymore so once he gets home stay the hell away and you know, people are gonna think that we're mean or we're. I am mean. But I mean, we have, we've gone through this now for eight weeks. It'll be probably fourteen weeks by the time we're all said and done with this, and we just need to be really cautious with him. And then when we do have people come over, they're gonna have to basically we're gonna have to treat it like we're scrubbing in for the NICU, like washing their hands and hand sanitizer hazmat suits no but just be clean rooms just being cautious airlock chambers like they said you know no taking them to the grocery store if we absolutely have to they said on pinterest you can get like these little cute things that you can stick on the car seat that says like basically don't touch my baby but it's in a nice way we just need to be really careful we don't want to end up back in the hospital. So. Thing is, is we need to get his oxygen down so that he can eat. And then he needs to be taking a bottle without having to have the tube down to take more. Like he needs to be drinking a whole bottle by himself. And then he has to have oxygen down even more um, before he can go home. And he might go home on some oxygen even. There's only a few steps left, but those few steps can sometimes take weeks to accomplish so they said a good goal would be our due date well with that being said like us share us subscribe to us and as always thanks for watching